Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for August 16th through August 31st, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. Uh, as of tomorrow, we're going to have seven planets retrograde. So that's a lot. We are still give, being given the opportunity to really go over um, things from the past, old situations, to evaluate, get clear, get complete. There's a reason things are resurfacing for you. So try to just be really present to it because it's all here to help you grow and continue on your path. Um, also, if, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. So this is my full-time work for the last two and a half plus years. The link below has all the information on my website about the distance energy healing and therapy. You can definitely read about the benefits, check out the testimonials, and you'll see I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And I also offer a very limited number of personal readings. So that link is below as well. So that's it. We're gonna get straight into the readings. Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for August 16th through the 31st, 2020. It's already fully shuffled, so we'll just get straight into it. Virgo, first card out, I've got Knight of Swords. So I immediately felt like you have, um, there is a situation that you are frustrated about or angry about, but I just, I'm going to read it with the next card because I feel they're very closely linked. Knight of Swords, a Five of Pentacles. There has been a disconnect that you are not happy about or somebody that you are dealing with is not happy about. I feel um, unspoken words, unfinished business. I feel there's been, somebody has been ghosted here or just complete disconnect in communication, in any sort of connection here. Um, but I do feel your energy on this Knight of Swords. So there is some, some frustrated energy around you, some unspoken energy, unspoken words. And I feel like with the last card out here being the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you may actually do something about this. You may actually speak up. You may actually come forward and communicate. I'm not sure who created this disconnect with the Five of Pentacles, you or the other person, or maybe it was a combination of both, but I feel like you're gonna clear up whatever these pentacles are and get back to either a brand new beginning with a brand new person or you're going to work things out with whoever this upset is with. Okay? Because I do see a new beginning for you with this Ace of Pentacles. A fresh foundation, a new beginning, a new start. Um, that's what I'm feeling here. So let me see what else I've got for you. Yeah, just that Knight of Swords. I don't always read that card as anger or frustration, but I feel it strongly today. Okay. Two cards that fell out together. I've got Death card and Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's definitely something ending here, something shifting, something changing. The Death card is confirming that for me. So either the, the disconnect and the silence is ending or your complete cycle connection with this person is coming to completion. Okay, and with the Knight of Pentacle, Nine of Pentacles, I feel getting back to a solid foundation within yourself, 
I, I feel your energy here on this Nine of Pentacles. So you're getting back to you. You're letting go of any upset, any anger, anything maybe that you've been holding on to, you haven't been able to forgive or let go of. I feel that is going to take a conversation or some sort of connection with whoever this is. And it's either going to bring a new beginning with them or it's going to cycle you out to be available for a brand new beginning with somebody else or somebody new, okay? I've also got Page of Pentacles here. So with the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, I feel like what you're manifesting, Virgo, or what you're wanting is something solid. Pentacle energy is solid, reliable, it's often long-term energy, something that takes time and effort to grow and build and, you know, really have that strong base. So if, the, if that is not what you've had with this other person, then that's what you're letting go of and you're getting back to a healthy place within yourself here as the Nine of Pentacles. Abundant, self-sufficient, really balanced within yourself. And that's going to allow either you to offer a more solid offer or to receive a more solid offer. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. I do have a Scorpio card out here. Okay, those two wanted to jump out. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so next up I've got the Sun card with the Queen of Pentacles. So from the Ace of Pentacles to the Page of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. There definitely is going to be progression here, um, either with this person that you are dealing with or with the situation around this person, okay? And like I said earlier, that transition or progression can be out of somebody old and into somebody completely new. But the Sun card is really bringing clarity, happiness, joy, you know, anything that's been hidden or in the shadows is being brought to the light um, for you to see and understand, again, bringing that clarity. And the Queen of Pentacles energy, I, I feel like this is somebody that you're dealing with. I'm not feeling your energy here. So this person is very grounded, very centered. They may even have their own business. I feel like um, Queen of Pentacles energy is very nurturing and very much domestic, like taking care of the home and taking care of um, the family and, and things like that. So you could be getting clarity around what you truly want also. And then the last two cards that fell out, look at this. I've got Six of Pentacles, which can represent an imbalance within a relationship and it fell out with the temperance card, which brings balance into unbalanced situations. So I feel um, what this is representing is in the earlier part of the reading when I said you're dealing with somebody, there's something just uneven here. There's something completely out of alignment. Either you're not talking, you're not seeing one another, but there's still energy linked between the two of you. Maybe the relationship was an unhealthy one. With the Six of Pentacles here, it was unbalanced. Somebody was giving more effort than the other. Someone felt, felt taken advantage of. And the Temperance card is coming in to bring healing around that. It brings harmony. It's a card of patience and understanding. Which, with all of this Pentacle energy out here, there definitely is going to need to be patience. Because Pentacle energy can be very slow moving. But I just feel whatever was out of balance is being brought into balance here. So Virgo, I feel like for the rest of this month, you're getting, you're cleaning up something that needed to be cleaned up. That I think maybe either you weren't dealing with it or the other person wasn't dealing with it and it has really brought frustration and anger to you. I feel like it's being cycled out, which is positive. You also have three major arcana cards out here, so those bring growth and transformation and the center of your reading, nine of pentacles. So I feel your focus is very much cleaning up things and situations and relationships around you that maybe throw you off balance or take away from you feeling really solid and in your power.
Okay, so I had two cards that wanted to jump out. I've got Guardian Angel and Listening. Both cards of protection and trust. So Virgo, I feel like, yeah, you will have to let go and trust a little bit with this. Your mind and your ego may want to get in the way or maybe that's what has kept this situation lingering for longer than it needs to. So something here about listening to the heart and the soul and trusting the signs and you know, what you're being shown. So I feel like you're really ready to cycle out of this and to move into something more stable. And I think you are, because again, we go from the ace to the page to the queen of pentacles. So definitely progression in something solid. For a lot of you, it's going to be love and a relationship, but this can also relate to work, a friendship, a living situation. It is a general reading, so... Let me see what your spirit animal message is. Ooh, I love it, Virgo. Okay, your spirit animal message is loon, intuitive. That you are. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. This is amazing, Virgo, because this is exactly what I'm talking about with letting go of the mind or the ego so you can actually heal and move forward in situations that are still lingering or bothering you. Trust your intuition. That you have to quiet the mind, get out of the mental energy. Um, seek more solitude, which that I feel like you are good at, but that is a part of you being balanced in your you know more most powerful place is you do need that alone time to process so i love that last message for you loon intuitive so i think that's all that's coming through for you virgo i hope that resonates um if not no worries you can watch your moon sign your rising sign your venus or your jupiter um, thank you for the comments below the video, and if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy, so it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point, so um, this is my full-time work for over two and a half years now, and the link below to my website has all the information for you on my website about the distance energy healing and therapy. Uh, you can definitely read about the benefits, check out the testimonial page, and take advantage of a 15% discount that I have for you for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So uh, you'll see that link below. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And I think that's it, Virgo. I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of August, and I will see you back here for the first half of September readings. Take care.